Mom! So nice of you to come so far out of your way. I come here all the time, and you know that. I, I, I need to talk to the children. Of course you do. Did I interrupt something? No. I have to head out to the barn, do some work, I'll leave you two to talk. Faith and Natalie aren't back yet, so you can either wait till they get back or just tell me. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm glad to just talk to you alone first. Oh, great. It's never a good sign when I have to be your translator. No, 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 it's not that. I, I, I know I've said this before. But I'm going to say it again. All of you have to believe that whether or not your father and I are together, we are still a family. Whether you live here or at the house, it doesn't change the way that I feel about you. You and your sisters and Ethan are the most important people in the world to me. I know that, Mom. But the problem is, when you walk out in the middle of Thanksgiving dinner, gives kind of a different impression. I had to work at the Lakeview. Yeah, and I know you've said that, but Faith seems to think it had something to do with Dusty. Is she wrong? Can I get some more water when you have a chance? But what am I supposed to do now? I'm going to school, I'm, I'm hanging out. It sounds good. It sounds like living to me. What am I supposed to do? I mean, what am I supposed to be? Just be yourself. That's it. Why are you being so nice to me? I'm just telling you how I see it. My father tried to kill you and tried to frame you for killing my mother. And you're still acting like, um, like a friend to me. Wow. Don't take it personally. I need all the friends I can get these days. Faith is very hostile towards me these days, and very suspicious of everything that I do. That's not an answer. All right, you know, I'll give you an answer. I'm giving you an answer. Whether I'm at the Lakeview, on the moon, I'm your mother. Yeah. I love you, and I will never abandon any of you. But maybe it would be easier for Faith if you'd come around here more often. Faith! But Faith would rather spend time with her girlfriends, shopping. She yeah, blows me off all the time. But if you were hanging out here more often, then Faith would have time to adjust you know, to I don't it. think you your father would appreciate me spending any more time out here. Well, I don't really think that you know what Dad wants. I know exactly what he wants. He has told me what he wants in no uncertain terms. But you're right, I know. I, I, I should be spending more time with you and Faith, and I will try even harder. I promise. And as far as the Lakeview goes, I have to work there. Sometimes, even on holidays. You should understand that. Okay. Whatever. Look, Noah brought over homework. I really should get started on. Mm. Okay. So, you and Dusty are working at the Lakeview? Is that what you're calling it now? Are you eavesdropping on my conversation with Luke? Nope. Just came back to get my gloves. But now you got me thinking about your definition of work. Clearly I need to go check my dictionary. No, this is not funny at all. I'm not laughing. No. I did not tell Luke the whole truth. Of course you didn't. My children don't need to know every single detail of my personal life. Especially since Faith is misinterpreting what's going on already. Is she? Yes, she is. What's going on between you and I has absolutely nothing to do with Dusty, and we both know that. And I don't want to give Faith any more ammunition. All right, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. I'm done trying to explain you to our children. So now, it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to make them understand. Or not. Well, I just have to say, your friends are, um, really lucky people. Don't say that in public. People might question your judgment. <laughs> and why don't you get out of here and study? Because my friends don't fail classes or anything else. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, buddy.
Dusty. How's it going? How are you doing? Just fine. Why do you try to lie? You're not good at it. You're right. Why do I bother? How bad is it? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being horrific, it's a 15. Anything I can do to make it better? I wish you could. Why don't you come over to my suite later? I still have some croissants. You can celebrate. I'll see what I can do. It's not like uh, anyone else wants to see me. That's their loss. 